Today we're in Cheonju, a city in South Korea that we can't believe we almost missed. After a spontaneous trip to the southern coastal town of Yosu, it was time to head back north to Seoul. But when all of the hotels in Seoul were completely booked, we happened upon the one place that could actually house us for a night. Sometimes hotels just be doing too much when you can stay in a traditional Korean home. What more do you need? We're in Cheonju and this is the first time that we are staying in a traditional Korean home called Ahana. I love sitting on the floor. I love eating on the floor. What? That's weird. I love sleeping on the floor. This is going to be a great experience, but come on in. This place costs $47 per night. We're staying right in the heart of Cheonju Hanok village. And it includes breakfast. And it includes a full on breakfast. Apparently they're going to wake us up at 9 a.m. tomorrow with a knock. The cool thing about a lot of the hanos here is that there are some modern touches as well. So we've got a full on TV. We even have AC, which is awesome because it's like 90 degrees outside right now. We have a little bathroom. Ta-da! Toilet, shower, curtain. These pillows are made out of, I think, grains or beans. You think it's this way? No. Well, you know, probably that thing's down. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, probably, probably the other but way. But so pretty. Do you think maybe this is supposed to be here? Ta-da! First try. We even have a little lanai. Basically, our room opens up into the main... <laughs> our room opens up basically into the main street of the village. So, uh, watching people walk by and... They're watching, get, they're watching us film. They're watching us film. After getting our little home all set up, we were excited to start exploring the village. One step into the village and we felt transported to a completely different time and place in South Korea. A place where time moves slower, modern things are left behind, and traditional culture is held onto tightly. Except for these really, really cool electric carts. So far, Cheonju is just this beautiful, quiet, kind of just untouched village. Now I know it's built up and, and restored to feel like a place where a lot of visitors can come and feel like they are transported to the Joseon dynasty, but it truly feels a world different than Seoul and Busan and a lot of the other bigger cities that we've been in. It's a really nice change in pace, and it helps that there are a lot of modern amenities still, like AC, cars, bikes, and these apparently electric golf carts that Josh is super excited about. So we've seen tons of signs everywhere explaining kind of the history of this area and that this is one of the traditional slow cities. One of the cities that holds on to Korea's culture in a much more tangible way, as you can see, built around us. But the most important thing that we've been seeing everywhere is that bibimbap has been mentioned on every single sign. One of my favorite foods. So we gotta find a place to get it. I've read that there are a couple of things that we definitely have to try while we're here. One is the bibimbap, and two, there are these pubs or taverns that serve mag magioli, which is a type of rice wine here. And I don't completely know how it goes and how to order and what what to do, but apparently you order these things by the kettle and you get a ton of food along the way and more food if you order more kettles. We followed all the kettle signs and happened upon this restaurant down a small little alleyway. Unsure of what lay behind those beautiful doors, we decided to just hop in. We were immediately greeted by the kindest woman who sat us at a table, brought us a menu and pointed to something and said, you probably want this. Oh, they're bringing stuff already, food's out. Thank you. So we've been in this restaurant for 30 total seconds and <laughs> you have all this stuff. They brought us this, which I think is all the, the, the manioli. And then about 20 other side dishes, I think one of which is silkworms. Um, unclear. I don't know what to do. I think we just eat all this. I'm really excited. We're in over our heads and this is great. Okay, I am in love with this place. So 
This restaurant is a social business that gives job opportunities for senior citizens, so people over 60. We got the Noble table set, which is one kettle, basic side dishes, all for 25,000 won, which is about $20. We had no clue what we were doing, but we dove right in. You think this goes in there? Yeah, I don't know, maybe. Ooh, it's cold. It's milky. Let's cheers to the amazing ladies that work here. A banana y fermented ricey cool drink. I like it. The amount of food you get is just. It's insane. I think I'm gonna go straight for the bug. Oh, that's good. Very nutty. Tasty. As you can see, our palates and the way we describe food, very sophisticated. I'm not sure what sesame oil makes that. Can you tell me what that was? No. <laughs> How much more do we got in there? This is so much fun and so good. Like, we still have one third of the kettle left, and we've gone through three bowls. I love this place. We've almost finished it. I feel warm. The entire experience was completely unexpected, and we honestly didn't recognize about 90% of what was on our table. But all of it was delicious. Are we finish it? We've done it. How are you feeling? A little toasty. But now we're gonna go on a hike. What? We are just wandering through the village here in Chonju, and guys, it is so cool. I I had no idea. Honestly, when we were when we were looking where to go next, we were just trying to make our way back up to Seoul. Cheonju was a place that came up and so glad they had bookings available for us because this place is incredible. It's just like every street we turn on is just cooler than the last street. And you keep expecting this like awesome architecture, very traditional feeling area to end, but it just doesn't. It's just the whole town. So now we are hiking up to this, what Google and the internet calls pavilion. The sun's just about to set, so we gotta make it up there quick. Okay, the pavilion was nice, but this spot right after the pavilion is where it's at. You can see all the different traditional homes and roofs from up here and you're watching the sunset. But the thing that I can't stop thinking about is a long time ago someone, probably an auntie of mine, told me this story that the reason why all, I don't know, Chinese, Korean roofs are pointed outwards on the ends is because when evil spirits fall, they just get propelled up and out. But in Western countries, the roofs are pointed downwards so that when the evil spirits come, they slide into your neighbor's lawn. <laughs> I was like, I can't stop thinking about it. It's funny, right? Haha. -ha. So 
it's like the perfect kind of like bite-sized city but also has so much to do so much history so much depth all the old architecture and the houses and the crazy downtown and the cats <laughs> <laughs> and on that note it's time for josh to learn his destiny Please be good, please be good. I can't read it. <laughs> Absolutely certain that this top line is not correct, but it is the secret of fun soil maintenance. I am a mountain gatekeeper. In the midst of difficult times, with the help of a nobleman, worries and worries disappear. You shouldn't antagonize other people's quarrels. I think that's generally good life advice. Don't go east, and there are waves that will come from there that will harm you. There's a lot of stuff east of here, like, our home. Don't go east. So ominous fortress aside, this is one of the coolest towns that I think we've been in since we've come to South Korea. There's just so much cool stuff going on. The way that the historical architecture leads into all these walkable streets everywhere. There's people out. It's fun. There's just this energy here that's just really infectious. I mean, any place that you get to drive around in those carts is a great place. Wow. Oh. Oh. Wow. It's a frozen grape, but covered in hard sugar. Brain freeze. Do you hear that ASMR stuff? <laughs> Okay, here we go. It's really good and interesting. I feel like I could crack a tooth though. After overindulging my sweet tooth, we headed back to our little home for the night. It's been a while since I've slept on a sack of beans, but have you ever slept on, that, <laughs> okay. on a sack of beans? Okay, good night. Good morning. Even though we didn't sleep as well as we had hoped, there was something really nice about waking up, cleaning up, and starting our day in our little home. It also helped that we literally got our breakfast delivered to our front door. Breakfast just arrived. Oh. Awesome. What did we get? I have no idea. I think this is coffee, so Merry Christmas. <laughs> and no idea. It smells good, but I have no idea. She just came by and dropped it off just a minute ago. So nice. We were only able to stay here one night. As it turns out, it's a completely packed weekend here in Cheonju and all of South Korea. It's Memorial Day weekend. So we gotta pack up and leave. Wow. <laughs> Such grace. We were sad to go, but in the end, we were so glad that Seoul was a little too busy for us and that Cheonju was able to welcome us in for the night. Man, what an awesome, relaxing end to our time here. It's just, what a nice day despite the not so good sleep. Yeah, I realized we never really ended a vlog like during the day. Yeah. All of ours end at night, that's why this feels so weird, but yeah, we are on our way to the train station to head to Seoul where we are literally going to walk all the way around it. All it's right. a thing. Yeah, it, is, it is apparently, it's gonna be a thing. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. See you tomorrow. So we've seen tons of, uh, it's, that's what, um, what am I doing with my life? Everything's confusing. I don't know if it's the macchioli, the macchioli. I don't know if it's the macchioli. I don't know, that's how it's spelled. I'm trying my best. It's probably this. Wow. Extended out to the camera. Lisa's laughing so hard she's shaking the camera. Hi, kitty. What do you got to tell us? 
so many things to say.